What is good guys, back more World Cup Finals, Rob Jr. playing for US Northeast versus IMA aka Porkshopman playing for US West. Northeast is up 5-3 at the moment, so if Rob wins this, the series is over and Northeast wins World Cup. Porkshopman has all the pressure, he has to win this. If he wins it would be 5-4 and then there would be another game, which is I think tomorrow, that would decide if it's 5-5, which means we would get a tiebreaker, or if it's 6-4 and Northeast wins. But yeah, if Rob wins right now, then Northeast can get the trophy just right now. But looking at the teams, right, Pokshaman brings Volcarona stall and looks like a team that Benge would use. So I think uh, Benge might have um, passed him this team. He's Turban at the moment, he's getting unbanned soon though, which is pretty cool. And uh, I'm uh, relatively sure, even if you're Turban, you can still help out your friends and pass them teams. That's not forbidden or anything, right? So it's I assume it's going to be bulky Volcarona. It could be Leftovers or Z-Move. Uh, Mega Sableye, then probably uh, Rocky Helmet, Fist Death, Tangros, which helps with the Zygarde matchup. It also gives another Kartana check. I mean, Volcarona and Zapdos both kind of already beat Kartana, but you can't really have enough Kartana checks on stall. It's a big threat. Uh, yeah, and Tangros also helps with the Banta matchup. That's a potential Banta on Rob's side, but I'm thinking it could also be a Mega Tita. I'm not sure yet. And yeah, I'm also thinking it's going to be double Defog on Porkchopman's side, most likely Defog on the Skarmory and on the Zapdos. And then rocks, rocks on the Chansey, right? Well, it could also be spikes on the Skarm and only Defog on Zapdos. But I think double Defog makes a bit more sense when you have a Volcarona. You want to make sure that rocks are not on your side. Yeah, Rob brings a Reuniclus team. It's going to be common Reuniclus. And yeah, he leads off with Landris. Rob's team is a bit weak to um, to Zygarde, so I'm not sure if this Landris is... This could definitely be a defensive Landris, even though we haven't seen that in a fat minute. It could... Because, like, what is a Zygarde counter otherwise? Reuniclus, if this is offensive land, or in Greninja to threaten it out? Yeah, I think this has to be a defensive land. So, Pokemon is probably just gonna Mega Evolve. Um, if Rob wants to predict that, he can, like, U turn out. Another potential player is also just going for Protect with the Sableye if he has Protect. But yeah, Rob, if he doesn't want to risk the Sableye staying in regular form and wisping the Landris, then he can go hard into Reuniclus. But I assume Pogchaman just wants to Mega, and Rob could potentially U-turn out predicting the Sableye to Mega, because if the Sableye Megas, uh, it loses the Prankster, and then you can U-turn out into Reuniclus. And Knockoff won't do much, because you have that Intimidate on the Sableye, and also if you have Z-Move on the Reuniclus, you can eat up Knockoff even better. We'll have to see if it's um, Z-Move or Leftovers Reuniclus. So he does U-turn, predicts him to not will Wiz, and I assume he just... Well, I don't know. He either went for status move or for knockoff. We'll have to see that. Went for a toxic. Okay, that's interesting. So toxic recover and knockoff is really obvious. The last move, I don't know if it's wrist protect or something else. But this reunion is looking like a big threat. I'm thinking it's gonna be Psy shock recover call mind, and I don't know what the last move would be. It could be energy ball. My man UB likes energy ball. Uh, I, that that set is really cool. And French people sometimes use like Signal Beam or Reuniclus, but I don't think it's gonna be Signal Beam. But yeah, if this is Steam Reuniclus, this can be a huge problem. Pokemon has no Unaware Mon. He also doesn't have like a Jirachi that can take the hits well. Well, I guess Skarmory can take the hits okay if it's Psyshock and Energy Ball and will win it out. But yeah, that's like not, not a long-term counter. So he goes back into Landers anticipating a knockoff to come out. So do we see, is it Lefties or is it Helmet? It's Helmet. And that crit is a bit annoying, gets some extra chip. So Pokemon can just recover here. Yeah, I assume the Reunix is leftovers because he switched it out. He didn't want to get knocked off and lose the lefties just yet. And he wanted to get that helmet chip on the Sableye. So I assume he's just going to click off quick here. Pokchipman can just click recover. Because this is a defensive Lando. Obviously, now we know it since we see the helmet. And it's also pretty obvious from team preview because it's weak to Zygarde otherwise. So yeah, I can just click recover here because off quick only does like 40-ish to Sableye. I'm pretty sure. 43, okay. So recover comes out here. He can click the recover a few more times or he can switch out if he doesn't want to use all his recovers. He can also switch out into Skarmory or Zapdos. I assume Rob is going to click Earthquake a few more times to stall out some recover PP from the Sableye. Maybe his Reunicus doesn't have a move to hit the Sableye, but that, that will be a bad set. I feel like you kind of have to run a move on Reunicus to hit Sableye. Like, if you run the other move, which is... Um, like Acid Armor Reuniclus, we have seen that before. That's usually only paired um, with Toxic Spikes, Toxapex to hit opposing Dark types. But even if it, I mean, even with a Sableye, that wouldn't even work. A Sableye would bounce back the Toxic Spikes, and he also has probably double Defog in the back to keep Toxic Spikes off. But yeah, let me see the recover again here. He can do this like a few more times: recover, recover, or he can eventually switch out into either Skarm or Zapdos, like I said. 
I feel like Rob is just gonna keep clicking Earthquake. But yeah, Rob has like a defensive core of um, Celestia, Pharaoh, Thorn. The Spike guys, either the Pharaoh or the Gren, we're gonna have to see that. The, the, the Pharaoh could also be T Wave because his team seems pretty slow. And I'm not sure if the Greninja is Ash or if it's Scarf Protein. If it's Scarf, uh, if it's Ash, I mean, that could be cool because he could potentially get up a Spike later in the game if he predicts the Chanty on the Greninja, but we'll have to see that. So he goes on the Zapdos there, predicting Earthquake, gets it correct, and he's pressure Zapdos, so that's cool for him getting it in on the Earthquake, because that stalls out two Earthquake PP from the Landris. The Tita is quite obvious here from Rob's side, so Pokemon could predict that here, and uh, he could go for Discharge. Also, the Tita, um, if the Tita is not banned, if it's like Megata and it's mixed, that could be really cool, because it could potentially snipe the Tangress or the Skarmory with like either Ice Beam or some fire coverage. Hmm. But I feel like Tita is definitely going to come out here. The other option is going Reuniclus. And yeah, Pokemon, in my opinion, should click Discharge and try to para the Tita. I mean, this is a defensive land. What could it do to the Zapdos? So, Tita comes out. Does he predict that? He does go for t -ball. He doesn't have Discharge. Okay. And he gets a para. That's super annoying because I think it's only 10% chance, not 30%. Like, you only usually run Discharge if you want a para. He's t -ball, though. Maybe he's running some special attack investment and he's t bold so he can Oko stuff like Pinsir, which won't make some sense. He doesn't have lefties on Zapdos, if I see that correct. So, he might be either Rocky Helmet or Z-Move Zapdos. Yeah, I, I guess if it's not Z-Move Volcarona, it could be Z-Move Zapdos, which is used sometimes on stall to... Um, I think it helps... Oko certain mods that are big threats to stall, like Mega Mowa. Oh yeah, Mega Mowa is also the one that Rocky Helmet Tangos helps check, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Rocky Helmet. So, do we see if it's Mega or Bandit? We will never know he gets paralyzed. I assume he's Bandit, because he didn't Mega. And I assume he just went for a Stone Edge there. Pokemon just went into Tangos, pretty much confirming that he's most likely a Rocky Helmet Fist. The variant, he goes for Knockoff, and gets rid of the Reunicus Leftovers. So now Rob could go for Command here, Pokemon could either go for Giga Drain or switch out into Sableye. But yeah, I was going. I was talking about Zemo Zapdos. It can potentially bop um, like Mega Marvel and Mega Heracross, two months that are big threats to stall. So that could definitely be a thing with some special attack investment to Oko Heracross. I could see that. Um, I'm not sure if Gigavolt is able to do that or if it would be Z have to be Z Heatwave to Oko Heracross. I'm not sure how that would work. I don't know the Zemo Calx from Zapdos versus those Mons Marvel and well, I think Marvel would. You might need Z Thunder actually to Oko Mobile, but he had T Bolt, so I'm not actually exactly sure if he's Z Move or if he's Helmet Zapdos. But yeah, Reuniclus probably gonna see him here. As we see his Leaf Stone instead of Giga Drain, so that was a good chunk. I'm not sure what that is exactly for. I know sometimes in Auras people use Leaf Storm over Giga Drain because it does more to stuff like Manaphy. But this Tangle is probably it's it's most likely Fizz Dev, right? Because it's Helmet. So um, it doesn't even check Manaphy that well. Like it doesn't check it is what I'm trying to say because. Plus three tail glow attacks destroy fist death tangros. So it's not for mana feed the leaf storm. It's for something else. I just don't know what it's for. So Rob's gonna have to recover here. I assume Pokemon is gonna switch out into Sableye. Uh, he obviously can't kill this Reuniclus unless he crits it. Knockoff also doesn't kill because it's lower base power if you already knock off the item. But yeah, this was a left doors Reuniclus. So like Rob, his team might not have a Z move user or he might be Z move on the Greninja. I'm thinking he probably doesn't have a Z-Move user. So there's the Sableye, and yeah, Rob can just CM up. I assume he's gonna CM up here, try to go get all the boosts. And yeah, the Reuniclus can actually be a huge problem for Porkchop, man. Like, if it's Psyshock Energy Ball, he can potentially will win it out with the Skarm. Um, if he has, I guess if he has Punishment on Sableye, that would be such a cool tech, but I don't know if he has that. Um, maybe, if, if he doesn't have anything on Sableye for the Reuniclus, maybe he should have gone Volcarona. And played the Quividence vs. Command War. But Quividence vs. Command War, I don't know if he wins that. Maybe he doesn't have Bug Buzz on the Volcarona. And I guess he could be. It depends on if the if the Zapdos is Z-Move, the Volcarona could be lefties. I mean, we will have to see that. If the Zapdos is Helmet, then I still think the Volk is the Z-Move user. Like, it's still. not. Sh I'm still not sure at this point which one is the Z-Move user. So, Saber, um knocking off. Obviously, Recover is gonna come out. And yeah, Pokemon kinda stalling out Recovers from the Reuniclus here. So Rob's gonna call man here again, and yeah, do we see knockoff again here from Sableye? Like, if he doesn't have punishment, I don't know how he beats this Reuniclus at this point, because the Reuniclus already commented up twice. So at this point, even if the Volcaro Runa has Bug Buzz, I think it can't beat it anymore. What? That's interesting. In prison? That's wild. 
So in prison means it cannot use the month, the opposing mon cannot use the mo the moves that you have on your move set. So that means he cannot recover anymore with the Reuniclus. That's really cool, but what is that for? It's for opposing Sabler and for Reuniclus, I assume. I don't know what else it's for. But that's it, definitely interesting. So he doesn't like I'm a bit surprised that he doesn't have um Will O Wisp on Mega Sableye. Because Will O Wisp is usually um quite important, I feel like, on Sableye. So it's toxic recover knockoff in prison. Really interesting. Um, if, if you guys know what Toxic is for exactly, let me know in the comments. Because I don't know what Toxic is for exactly on Mega Sableye. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, Rob has to switch out because he cannot click Recover anymore. It's like if he stays in, he would um, get bobbed. So what does PCM for? Does he just go for Recover? Yeah, he does just go for Recover. And Rob switched out into Landris there, predicting uh, either Knockoff or Recover. And he can U-turn out here into what? Um, Procturman goes in the Tango, is most likely to get some Helmet Chip on the Landers, yep. Confirming that it's uh, most likely Fidef Tangros. maybe it has some sort of Spidef investment, but they are mainly Fidef. So now, Reuniclus, I think is out of range from Leafstorm. So Reuniclus can come out, yeah, and he can click Recover here. But that's a really cool tech to imprison on a Sableye, and otherwise he might have just lost the Reuniclus if he didn't have that. Depending on the coverage move on the Reuniclus. Depends on that. If it's a move that does a good chunk to scum as well, then this might have just won the game. So Toxic Knock of Recover in Prison, and yeah, we don't know the Reunic. I mean, Psychic is like obvious to me, but we don't know the other move. Well, it could be Psychic as well, because his team is a little bit weak to Halucha. But he, yeah, I don't know. I don't know yet. If it's Sci Sci just makes more sense versus to help versus Chansey stuff like with Calm Mind, like with the Storm matchup, right? You want Sci Shock definitely most of the time on Reuniclus. But yeah, he's gonna Calm it up, but eventually he's gonna just click Imprison. Yeah, clicks it right now, which is the correct play. And that means he can't recover anymore with the Reuniclus, so now Pog Chipman can just click Knock Off here. And Rob has to, I guess, switch out or click the coverage move that he has. And the coverage move that he has wouldn't do much to Sable, like, because Sable runs max to death, so it would only be like 20 or 30, I would assume. It plus 2, maybe 30. But he knocks off the Celeste Dealer. Um, yeah, that's bad for Rob losing the lefties on the Celeste Dealer. And does he go for Heavy Slam or the Flamethrower? He goes for Heavy Slam, gets some chip on the Chansey. So the safe play here is to just go for Soft Bolt, or uh, Pokemon could also go for Rocks. I assume this is the Rock or the Chansey. And yeah, Rob. Just heavy slams again, okay. I was gonna say he could either heavy slam or leech seed. And now a Pokemon has to soft bolt, and I guess Rob has to hope for a crit here because if he can crit the Chansey, um, crit might be a roll to kill, I'm not sure. If he can crit the Chansey here and kill it, that could potentially open up the Greninja, but he doesn't get the crit. And yeah, Pokemon should just click soft bolt again here, keep the Chansey healthy. Rob clicks a uh, leech seed, gets the Celestia back to full, I'm pretty sure, because Chansey has a lot of HP, yep. And um, Pogchaman has to switch out here into like Zapdos or what? He goes into Tangros, okay. I thought he would go Zapdos. There's a Flamethrower that, that doesn't actually do that much. Like, it doesn't do as much as I thought it would do to, to Fist Death Tangros. So maybe this has some sort of Spadev investment, yeah. And now, um, I assume Pogchaman is gonna pivot out into like Zapdos, yeah. Rob goes for Flamethrower. And yeah, I mean, pivoting out was definitely the correct play because Flamethrower might have been a roll on the Tangros, and you obviously don't want to lose that. So it goes back in the Tita, what do we see here? Roost. Yeah, we do see a Roost. And now, well, I'm thinking there's a Banter because he didn't Mega earlier, but I'm not 100% sure yet. He tried to Pursuit. We, we know that because of the text, the opposing Rocket is being withdrawn. But he got paralyzed. That sucks. That would have given us information if it's Helmet Tangros or if it's... Helmet Zapdos, I mean, or if it's Zemo Zapdos. That would have given us that information and it also would have gotten done a good chunk to Zapdos. I don't think Rob can win this. The Imprison tag on Sableye was really cool. And yeah, this is just gonna be a, kind of a slow and painful game for Rob. Like, he's gonna try to win it for his team, I think, but like, how is he gonna win? His Tita is paralyzed. His Reuniclus can't win with the Imprison tag. Celestia is already knocked off. Goes for Leafstorm there. Rob predicts this goes Dilla. So, Pokemon can just go back Zapdos here, I think. Uh, he might also wanna go into Volcarona. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if he wants to go Volcarona. Here goes Zapdos, what did we see? Oh, Zapdos is healthy. I thought Zapdos was lower, but the Tita got paralyzed, so Zapdos was still at full. So Zapdos was definitely the correct play then. And yeah, he can either T-Bolt or Roost here. I feel like T-Bolt is an okay play here. Uh, Rob goes hard into Tita. Does he T-Bolt? Yep. And now, um, 
you can either roost here or you can hmm now we might find out if it's helmet or if it's zemo zap just let's see i feel like rob um is just gonna click stone edge here but like he's paralyzed hitting stone edge through para is not that easy and also Pokemon. the Pokemon can either roost fishing for paras or if he's zemo he can pop that and I'm pretty sure I would kill the Tita from here because there's no sandstorm anymore, but we will see. Mm, yeah, we still don't know anything about the Tita because it's always getting paralyzed from a T-Bull 10% chance para. That definitely, that's definitely super annoying. And this would have been a potential way of putting... Like, Tita would, could, would have been a, is a mon that could have potentially put in work for Rob. Um, there's a Z-Move. Ooh, what is it? Gigavolt Havoc, yeah. Bob. So it's Z-T-Bolt. Okay. It's not the thunder like i mean we obviously knew already it was t-bolt but it's not the age wave which i was speculating earlier for heracross but i think it was like the thunder that was used last year for heracross not the heat wave i just wasn't sure um yeah ghost chance there makes the correct play rob predicts that gets up a spike with the greninja and we see it's ash ninja okay so rob's team is like really slow he doesn't have a scarf because huh? he was helmet landris i'm pretty sure the tie had to be banded for breaking power if it's not banded, it's not like a threat. It's not a threat to stall at all. So it goes Feral there. Seismic Toss comes out, and Pokemon has like all he can do whatever he wants. He can go Zapdos or Sableye. Like he's in such a good spot after the Tita goes down. His Zapdos doesn't have to fear getting Pursuit Trapped anymore. And yeah, Zapdos can just go for Roost here. Rob uh, Leech is there. Um, even if Sableye came out, that would have been okay because Leech Sheet obviously doesn't affect Ferrothorn if it gets bounced back because Ferrothorn is a grass type. But this is looking really bad for Rob. Like, Reuniclus maybe could have done it if the Sableye didn't have him prison, but I don't see how he wants to win this. So he goes Lando there, predicting a roost. If he gets it correct, he just gets some uh, Leech Sheet recovery back. So now, um, what could the Zap this Lando have to hit the Zapdos with? Maybe it has. So Earthquake, Rocks. HP eyes and the last move is either stone edge or toxic is what I'm thinking. Ooh, how did he know dude? How? Into um Skarmory scouting toxic and now Yeah Rob has to switch out here Oh he gets up the rocks right 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 But yeah like I was gonna say now Rob has to switch out right and the Skarmory can just defog freely here like, yes, he got up the rocks first, but it didn't really, like, do anything for him, right? You get what I'm trying to say? Because it's, like, really obvious that it's double defog, because he has a Volcarona on his team, so he never once had that on his side. So now he can just go... He goes in a Chansey there. And he can just click s rocks or softball. Softball is what he should do, do not risk anything, but he clicks rocks. Now he risks, he risks getting crit. Um, so Rob has to go for the crit here to um, have some sort of way out. But yeah, I mean, yeah, like, Lando was never getting up rocks, that's, yeah. With the double defog. And now he has the rocks on Rob's side, and he can just softball again and keep the chance he healthy. And now he can switch out. I don't remember how healthy Zapdos is, but Zapdos or Sableye can come out here. Well, Volcarona is another potential play. Now that the Tita is dead, even if the Volcarona doesn't have Bug Buzz, he doesn't have to fear the Tita trapping the Volk anymore, so he does go to Volk, there's the Leech Seed. Breaking the Zapdos slash Volk to come out, I think. So he can protect here, or he can switch out into into what? He doesn't have switches for this. So. <laughs> I really don't know what Rob's gonna do about this Volk. Like, hello? He might just have to sack something here. I mean, this game is not winnable for Rob. I don't think so. So it goes for Uniclus. Uh, it's it's Flamethrower, confirming that it's most likely a bulky variant. And it's a Leftovers variant. Okay, yeah, it makes sense as Leftovers because Z-Move was on Zapdos. So Rune is going to recover here. And eventually Pogchurman is going to switch back into Sableye because he wants to not let the Reunicus set up too much. Reunicus just Psyshocks there. I mean, Pogchurman would have to misplay a lot at this point to lose this. I don't think he can lose this at all. I mean, it's a cool, it's a cool team, but... Besides, like, the Imprison tag is really cool, but other than that, um, I feel like this game is, like, kind of done. Like, there's not much to narrate anymore. Like, wh how is Rob gonna win this? He has to, like, flinch everything with Ash Greninja. Like, he has to flinch Chansey, like, six times or something like that. <laughs> Goes in the Volk on a Power Whip, um, gets the burn, 
So now Ferrozone also is burned, um, which cancels out leftovers. And yeah, I think he power whip there obviously because... I mean, obviously, on a Sableye you would power whip, you don't want to go for hazards and have them get bounced back. So Landris is going to get sacked to Flamethrower, I think, right? Yep. And what comes out? Greninja comes out, most likely. And... Chansey is going to come for Pork Chomp Man here. It's really obvious. He doesn't have to risk anything. So either Spike or Dark Pulse is the play. Spike's up, yep. But, like, this is so bad for Rob. Like, this is just a bad matchup. His Tita got hexed down as well. Uh, which I don't think had, was a game-changing factor. The Imprisoned tech was really cool though, I uh, gotta say that again. Um, wasn't a Ferrothorn there, get some chip, and now Pokemon can just go Sableye to block the Leech Sheet and keep the Ferrothorn low. He doesn't have to, he doesn't have to, he can also go like Skarm or Zapdos, but Sableye is definitely an option here. Uh, Tangros is also an option which would block the Leech Sheet and then he could get Regenerator. Wait, I didn't pay attention yet, is he... Spikes only on Grand or is he also spikes on the Pharaoh? Yeah, Zapdos is at 88, so you can definitely just go to that. Scum's at full. Or Sableye can also come out here to just block Leech Sheet. Sableye or Tang are options. So let's go into Sableye. What does Rob do? Leech Sheet. Doubles into Grand. Okay. So now um, he's just gonna go Chansey, I feel like. He doesn't wanna risk anything. Do we see Dark Pulse? Yep. So now um, it's time to flinch, I guess. He doesn't really have uh, another way of winning. So we need multiple flinches. Does he get it? Nope. I mean, he wouldn't need like two or three flinches. I think two only, right? So now he should just soft bolt again here, play it safe, keep Chansey healthy. And he should try to defog the spike away soon because spike is like, he's in a really good spot, but the spike is a little bit annoying for him. But like, if he plays the safe, this is like over as shit. Does he uh, just soft bolt playing it safe? I can understand that, yeah. So Steeler is in. Now either Zapdos or Sable are gonna come out. Uh, maybe not Sable, because Sable I already took a spike. Say Zapdos comes out. Does he leak shit? Yeah, it does lead sheet, which is good for him. And we could see a T bolt here or a def. Nah, he doesn't have to defog, but he could. I mean, Protecti is obvious from Rob. Pokemon could double out here if he wants to, if he doesn't want to take lead sheet chip this turn. Or he could just click T bolt or roost. Like, he has all the options, whatever he wants to do. Yeah, just clicks T bolt. Makes sense to not roost when you're at 76, because it feels like a wasted roost. And in case Rob um, wants to go for Flamethrower. Predicting you to not go for t bolt and stay in. Uh, I understand why you would attack there, yeah. So go Sableye there to just um, block potential hazards. Well, the Rocker? The Rocker is the land on the Spiker was the Grin, so I think the Ferrothon actually doesn't have hazards. So the Ferrothon could have T-Wave because his team is really slow. Or it could be like a knock of Leech Sheet Power Up Gyro Ball. I don't know exactly. But Arenoclus goes in the Steeler on the knockoff, gets a crit there, which speeds up the game a little bit. So Rob's gonna click Heavy Slam or Flamethrower here, Pokemon. Probably gonna switch out into Zapdos. I'm getting a bit tired, it's late here. <laughs> and I feel like this game has been done. Like, after he reeled the Imprisoned tech, Rob didn't really have many outs, and after his Tita got hexed down by Para, and the, the Z-move, I mean, yeah, he had two cool techs. Imprisoned Sableye and Z-move on Zapdos. So he does predict a Roost there, um, and Pokemon predicts him to not protect and prick the roost and go for leech sheet and catches him and t bolts the Celeste dealer and now he has to just go into chancy on the dark bolts yeah he has a crit there so now rob has to flinch this multiple times 16 percent no flinch so he has to switch out most likely because the chance is at full like chancy at full is like really unlikely to flinch at all <laughs> but yeah he, he caught the Celeste dealer but like even if he didn't catch it um no matter what he had this game but catching the Celeste dealer Early with the T bolt on the predicted, um, most likely leech sheet. Obviously, he speeds up the game a little bit, which is cool because I don't want to sit here for five hours. I feel like Pokemon definitely has it, which means it's gonna be five and four. Um, that means the next game, which is high versus JYH, I think JYH numbers guy, just like tomorrow. I think one hour before the World Cup slash football soccer thing. One hour before that final, like this other game is one hour before that. But I'm gonna record it anyway and bring it to you guys um, in case you can watch it. I mean, I also enjoy recording these. Um, like, I'm not the biggest fan of narrating stall games. I, I used to, <laughs> I used to record really long stall games. Kind of stopped doing that. I still have some um, stall games from like earlier rounds that I'm gonna be uploading, but they're not all. They're not that long. Like, I used to record like one or two hour stall games. I don't think I might. I don't think I'm gonna be doing that too too often. But yeah, Greninja has to flinch everything. Let's see if he can get it. 
does not get it there, so clicks it again most likely. I mean, and Prison Tag was cool, Zemo von Zapdos was cool, gotta give him that. Um, I think Bengay made the team, we don't know, confirmed. But it really looks like something he would use, he I think also used Stall, with stall in Volcarona Stall. He does get multiple flinches, does he get another one? Oof, three flinches in a few turns there. So if he gets another one here, maybe it can get interesting, but he doesn't get it. So just play it safe and seismic tosses and it's over. Reuniclus cannot do it, he just goes into save land, clicks in prison if Reuniclus comes out in the game ends and Rob's knows, Rob knows that and forfeits. Unfortunate for him, would've been cool for him to bring it home. And yeah, I know Rob a bit, um, actually I know both guys a bit, but I know Rob a bit better, so... I was kinda rooting for Rob, but I don't have anything against PCM winning, it's cool that we will see that, that the high versus JYH numbers guy game still matters. Because otherwise it would have been over and I don't know if the last game would have even been played. And yeah, we can still get a potential tiebreaker, we will see. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button if you appreciate the effort I'm putting in here. Like, I have been a bit lazy like a few weeks or months ago, but lately I've been back on track. I've been giving you guys the daily uploads. Um, also, kind of with some help, my man BTB has been helping me a bit so that I can get daily uploads. Props to him, but yeah, he's been busy last day, so when I ask him for help again. But it's fine, it's fine. I can um, upload like one or two games myself, usually. I mean, I'm not gonna do this daily, but I'm gonna try to do it like five out of seven days a week. But yeah, peace out, friends. And cool text on the stall team. Cannot say it often enough, I guess. <laughs> Goodbye.